to another video thank you for tuning in today i am sharing with you my fourth relaxer update that means this is the fourth relaxer that i have gotten since starting my hair journey i am excited to finally be able to talk to you guys to share with you what changes i've made to my routine what i'm still doing and how those changes are working for me so without further ado let's get started So I typically relax my hair every four months, that is approximately 16 weeks and I am comfortable doing that. I think that is my comfort zone. So going forward, that is what I will keep doing. I no longer relax my hair bone straight. I leave a bit of texture to my hair because I think that is what works best for me and I prefer my hair that way. I think it is more healthy as well because um, the texture helps the hair it helps to preserve the integrity of the strands so yeah that is my little niche <laughs> um but by all means if you're somebody who prefers your hair bone straight and you're able to preserve it without um damaging your hair without causing breakage then by all means do you um when i relax my hair i use the cream of nature relaxing kit and I just love everything cream of nature so so far that has been working really great for me so I do not foresee myself switching my relaxer anytime soon um, yeah so when I get my kit I do get it in the regular strength and if that is not available then I would get it in mild but I never use a super on my hair for the purposes of today's length check, yes, we are doing a length check today. I did flat iron my hair. Heat is something that I try not to use too regularly throughout my journey. I used to be so hooked on my flat iron. But now I use heat very sparingly and I have seen um, the changes in my hair. My hair is better for it. However, for today's um, flat ironing, I did use my... Tresemme heat protectant Always use a heat protectant when you're using any heat styling tools so Instead of delaying let me go ahead and upload the cl clip so that you can see what my hair is at now In terms of product updates, I have made some changes. You guys know that I love the Cream of Nature Clay and Chapo Shampoo. And this was very much a staple in my hair routine. I use it until it is done. And I probably will get it again because I really love this. But I wanted to try something new. So I went out and got this. 
this is the ORS sulfate um, sulfate free hydrating shampoo and I don't want to say too much about it because I only just started using it so once I have decided how I feel about it I will let you guys know if it is something that I will be keeping as part of my um, product list in my regimen or if it is something that I'm going to switch out once it is done but so far I am liking it um, also I am still on my hair vitamins you guys know that I took <clears throat> the nature's bounty hair skin and nails and these were the dark red capsules so I used it until it was done I enjoyed taking it I think my hair was better for it um, however I wanted to switch it up so I am still taking um, hair skin and nails by nature's bounty but these are the gummies I'm not sure if these make any difference I just wanted to try it out so I will let you guys know if I like this more in terms of benefits for my hair um, than the capsules or if it makes minimal difference if any so I will update you guys once I know what's what um, oh one of the major things that I have done in the last two or three months is a castor oil break um, I do have a few castor oil videos I will link them so that you can check them out if you're interested in doing so but castor oil is one of the things that um, I believe has really made a difference in my overall hair health and um, so from last year I was using castor oil very consistently throughout my journey however I decided to take a, a break from using it for the last two months or so um, I do still use it but I use it differently let me explain so typically I would um, moisturize and seal using castor oil several times a week maybe three or four times a week so I would either apply it directly to my scalp or I would seal my hair with it um, and I did that for months however I stopped doing that and so the only time I use castor oil now is every two or three weeks when I do a castor oil treatment on its own and I do have a video coming where I show you how I do that so you can look out for that but um, yeah I think it was necessary to take a break from the castor oil and so by the end of May or so I should be back on it so that is one of the most significant changes that I've made as far as my hair routine for 2021. But I do still love castor oil. I think it has done wonders for my hair. So I will be resuming my use of it um, come the end of May. Um, what else? I still have not gotten my hair trimmed. And that is something that I hope to rectify soon. My ends are not too bad, they're not terrible, but a trim is due. I am thinking of getting a blunt cut. I will film that if it is possible to do so, but it's not going to be anything crazy. I'm not cutting my hair, I'm just trimming, trimming. So if that is how I decide to go, I will let you guys know and I will film it so that you can be part of the process. Also, I am very excited about doing some um, Indian treatments. So that is something that I am hoping to get amazing results from. I have started ordering my powders, so I am going to film that aspect of my hair journey as well. And I'm going to share it with you guys. So I'll let you know what's working for me and what isn't, but I am excited to try something different to see what sort of results I can get where my hair growth is concerned. I think my hair has grown a couple of inches, maybe two, two to three inches since my last relaxer update and so that is a good sign. My hair does feel healthy as well but I would like my hair to be more thick, more full. Yes. 
so I am anxious to try these Indian treatments to see if anyone is a win for me so that's it from me guys please follow me on my socials Instagram and Facebook thumbs up this video and if you have not yet subscribed please hit that red subscribe button below thank you guys I will see you in the next one Thank you.